Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jordan and today we're in a rush because I'm always in a rush because I have no sense of time. But what we're gonna do is like a pretty soft, like very fast makeup look. So I'm gonna jump right into it. But before we start, like this video, like this video and subscribe to my channel. And let's go, let's go. We got 30 minutes, girl. So I'm gonna start off with these Maybelline erasers. I'm trying to go for something like soft. One of these is lighter than the other. This one is in shade 120, so that's the lighter one. And I'm just gonna do a couple dots here. And I don't even know what I'm doing, honestly. I'm kind of low-key in a state of panic. Okay, which shade is this? This one is, oh, this one's in shade four. I got, so I have three of these. I think this one's from the UK. So honestly, my apologies. I can't tell you which shade this one is. And I'm already just kind of like, doing nonsense here. I don't know what's happening. Everybody panic. And then I'm just gonna take a brush to start blending this in. Do you guys like my nails? I just posted a little video on Instagram. So if you don't follow me there, go check it out. I have a couple nail videos on my Instagram. I'll probably do one at some point on YouTube, but I have to think of like logistically how I'm gonna film that. I guess I could just film it the exact same way I do it on my Instagram, but anyway, one thing at a time. So soft, light, angelic coverage is what she has. And I have some new products. I'm really excited to try out. So let's see, first one is this. I've actually tried this color before. This is the LA Girl Concealer and I got it to be a contour cream because I saw another influencer do it. I say another influencer, I'm not an influencer. I saw an influencer, her name is Jordan Lipscomb. Go figure, I watch a girl named Jordan. So I'm gonna do my nose, same way I would with any other cream contour. I don't have any like squeezy contours like this. Although the only one I can really think of is the Charlotte Tilbury one. I'm gonna use this brush. I think this is a, yeah, blending brush. This is Zarea. I got it on Amazon. This is in Ultimate Blending 865Z. So I'm gonna use that. It's kind of like a more dense, fluffy brush. Oh my God, I definitely put too much of that on. I'm thinking this blends, that this dries a little bit faster than I was anticipating. So I'm just gonna put a bit of setting spray to make it a little more malleable, I guess you could say. That's not bad though. Hmm, I'm not mad about that. This brush is also like pretty good for cream contour. Mmm, first impressions. Not bad. All right, let me blend the other side of my face and then we'll see what we think. Little sigh of relief, I just got a call that we're going in to dinner 30 minutes later. So I probably should still rush though because it's me. I should still rush. Okay, I'm gonna grab a smaller brush for the nose. So far, pretty damn good. Pretty damn good, especially considering it's like $3 or something. Like something really, really affordable like that. Mmm, I like it a lot, actually. I was like in panic rush mode, so I wasn't really like thinking, but me like. And I'm just gonna use this like smaller brush to do the nose here. Mm, this dried a little bit. Let's see if I can re-wet it. That actually worked better than I expected it to. I thought it might get muddy if I did that. Okay, and then I'm gonna go right under my brow with that. I think I'll just leave it more or less like this and then I'll go in with that gel liner that I always use for my nose contour. The beautiful thing about using a concealer, one, it doesn't really like get patchy, you know, because it's a concealer, it's made to be rubbed like that. And two, you can put like less coverage if that's where you're into. Like I just put a little bit of concealer on for my base and then that has like a tinge of coverage. You know, I am like rubbing, in, rubbing it in quite a bit so it's not gonna be as full coverage, but like, it looks sun-kissed. I look, I look beautiful. <laughs> but yeah, I'm very, very happy with this product. That was the LA Colors. This is the shade. No, I'm sorry, this is LA Girl. Pro Conceal HD Definition Concealer. What's doing? Uh, you came to look in my mirror. Okay. See his lats? What are lats? What? Here's your shoulders? Your back? Yeah. Okay, very big back. Go. Cool. 
Excellent. V for Veronica, like your mommy. Go She's out. Horrible. Go out. Yeah, you see that? Okay, I was rudely interrupted by my brother. Brows, I'm going in with this NYX Lift and Snatch pen. Oh, by the way, this LA girl was in shade Espresso. And I think this is actually too, this brow tint pen. Also Espresso. So I'm just doing like little hair strokes with this. I was actually going to do this and then some like brow gel mascara, but actually I don't think I need it. I kind of like how like, that looks really good never done that i'm always kind of like the all or nothing kind of gal with my brows i'm like do it all but yeah that, oh that looks really good okay let me do the other brow it's not that exciting so but yeah love this product this is my go-to product when i'm doing like the laminated brow look you know like spike up my brows okay i think i'm gonna leave my brows at that i'm actually very very happy about that but can you see this marked right here? I was just, I forgot I have these beautiful long nails on. Not difficult, they just like get in the way. They take getting used to, you know? Okay, next I'm gonna do, I was gonna do blush, but I think I should just do my eyes because I was just stabbing myself in the eye or like on my skin with my nails. So let me try and like not damage the skin anymore. So I'm gonna go in with this little e.l.f. palette and I have a new brush that I'm so excited to use. I got two new Morphe brushes. This is the M443. And that's what she looks like. Oh, perfect for those like skinny eyeshadow eyeliner looks. I'm very excited. So I'm just gonna go right in with it. I love it already. I love it already. I'm just going with that brown shade in that little e.l.f. palette. And I'm just gonna make myself like a little baby eyeliner here this is actually going to be such an easy quick makeup and i kind of was really in the mood to do makeup today like i felt like doing something a little more intricate but i don't have time and that's okay so i'm gonna take what i can get that's like kind of mostly all i'm gonna do for the eye that was so easy i feel like i was able to get like a nice sharp wing which is sometimes hard to do with an eyeshadow because I just haven't had like the best tool for Did you just see how that glided? <laughs> that was so quick and easy. And honestly, I'm so excited to put this brush to its full potential because it's so lovely. Okay, I'm just playing at this point because it feels like that was too easy. But I'm gonna keep playing. I'm actually gonna add a little bit of this brown in this inner corner here. I'm gonna kind of like tight line here. And of course you guys, I'll list these products down below. Maybe I'll do a little bit out here. That's like so easy to do the inner corner. I've never been able to do this with like a slanted brush. Who would have thought the right tools can make makeup easier? <laughs> First, I'm just gonna get these creases out of here. I'm gonna go with this light color here. And then I'm gonna lightly kind of just dust that over my lid actually you know what oh. i was gonna say this would be easier with my finger but i don't think these claws will allow for that just, let's try i just feel like the oils on your finger pick up products so much better especially when it's like a shimmer not bad i'll do the inner corner with this little brush just because i really don't want to like stab my nose and then i'll blend the rest in with my finger and then this brush is another brush from Amazon. It's You Spicy. It's brush 15. That's what she looks like. It's just a little like small flat head. Next up for mascara, I'm gonna use this Araceli mascara. I don't know if that's how you say it. So if you know, please let me know. Okay, I'm gonna do hack lashes. Same old, same old. I'm gonna put some glue on the back of my knuckle here. Okay, these are the lashes. They've been used far too many times. Probably should throw them out soon, but I might not. So I'm just gonna place these. The glue is also more wet than it should be. Hmm, pretty. Oi. Oh my gosh, rogue lash. <gasps> I would have been so upset if I got lash glue on my sweater. I just got this sweater. And lash glue is so hard to get out of clothes. If you know how to get lash glue out of clothes, please let me know. And then I just pinch these together. I love this little tool. This is the 
Kala tool. The first one I had was Ardell and I went through like four of them because I kept breaking them. <laughs> And then finally I was like, okay, I'm not gonna get a plastic one again. I'm gonna try and use this. I still haven't mastered how to use this. This is the Natasha Denona Cupid Cheek Duo. Honestly, I wouldn't, I don't know. I'm not against this product. I just, Hi. I'm not against this product. I just haven't really figured out like how to apply it properly. So I'm gonna take a similar brush to the one I use for the contour. This is an e.l.f. foundation brush. I don't know, it's like kind of rubbing off, but I think it's an e.l.f. foundation brush. And I'm gonna get a, a good healthy amount on here. Ooh, am I freaking you out? And then, oh, that actually, okay, this made me look like a dumbass because <laughs> I tried other ways and I just feel like I haven't been able to do it. Wait, that's so pretty. I've had this for months and I haven't, used it because that's gorgeous i haven't used it because i keep trying to apply with like my fingers or like less dense brushes i think all i need to do is switch to the brush because that's beautiful <gasps> natasha <laughs> mm, okay i'm gonna go a little blush happy here okay that wasn't that pretty on my nose like that but oh i'm kind of obsessed with this it does have like a gold shimmer to it so if that's not your vibe you might not like this but the color is just like this gorgeous like perfect pink for my skin tone i'm actually like obsessed with blush at the moment i bought two blushes yesterday both of them cream because i love a cream brush blush and i don't think either of them are going to be good for me okay one of them was this lash paradise l'oreal one I don't like to talk shit, but that's the worst blush I've ever used. It's just like water. Like it's like nothing when it goes in your skin. It's way too sheer. Some people might like that. Not my vibe. Like I said, I love blush. I want to like overdose in it. And then I bought this one, which is absolutely gorgeous. I actually have this in the coral, coral shade. I have this one. Look, she's busted. I have her like taped together. This one is really, really pretty. But the more I look at it, the more I'm like, that might be a little too dark for my skin tone but if you're like brown i feel like this color would be <laughs> absolutely gorgeous i'm not gonna chill with this i'm gonna layer this up as much as i can but i think i just found my new favorite blush and it was in my own collection okay and then i'm not gonna put highlighter on because i just put that on and that's like glowy so i'm just gonna dab with my sponge one more time under my eyes and then I'll spray. Mm, I love this stuff. This is the, I always try to talk right after I do that and get it in my throat. Like I think every video I've made, I'm like, <laughs> but this is the Makeup Revolution Candy Haze. It smells so good. Like cotton candy, like candy. It smells like candy, right? It smells like candy. I'm gonna grab a little bit of this Fit Me Loose Powder. This is in Fair Light. It's got like a little bit of a yellow tint to it. So I'm gonna try that under my eyes cause I do wanna kinda like cover up this darkness a little bit more. And then I like to just get rid of any overly shiny areas that make me like draw attention to like this area. I always try and powder. So I'm just gonna do my smile lines and then I'll do a little like just the residue in between my forehead here. Almost done. I'm gonna go in with my favorite product which is the la colors neon gel liner and flash white you know that i use it a lot when i actually can just tell you what it is without even looking at it so i just put that down the bridge of my nose and on the tip and then i just use the heat of my finger to kind of melt it in and it's just oh it makes the contour pop off like the highlight pop off so well i usually do like to use powder contour on my nose because I don't necessarily want my nose to shine. I don't want it to catch any light. I'm not saying that this is overly shiny at all or anything. Just, I don't know, I like it kind of matte on my nose. I'll just go over with any excess that's on here to try and mattify. This looks beautiful. I think I'm pretty much done other than lips. And I have new products to use for lips, which I'm so excited for. I'm gonna talk about one thing first. This is also, I want a little LA girl heavy. I got two products, but I'm excited either way. So I got this LA color, or I'm sorry, LA girl lip liner. 
that's what she looks like. I already have an LA color lip liner that I'm obsessed with, but I was like, let me get more because they're just amazing. It's amazing. The other one I have is more of like a bright girly pink. And then I got this Essence lipstick because I heard someone talking about them saying they're good. They're only like $2.50 or something. This is in shade Freaky. Obviously, no, no like marketing goes into these at all because that's where they save their costs. But oh, that's so pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. It's like this perfect mix between like blush, blush rose and coral. Beautiful. Love that. Seems nice and creamy. It's definitely more of like a satin, not a matte. And then this I couldn't put down because I've seen these so many times and I just love the packaging. Like how cute is that? That's the Milani, which I don't know what they're called, but pretty sure it's matte based on how it looks. I already kind of wiped it so it looks a little more shiny on that side, but looks very matte to me. And this is in 430 Secret, but that is secret super blushy pink i love that and then i got a goodie goodie but oldie not even an oldie just a goodie that like everybody should know about another nyx liner absolutely gorgeous this one is the nyx slide on got glide on stay on okay no i'm just reading the description they have matte ones and then they have these ones the thing is just like a satin finish I love the matte ones. I think I prefer the matte ones, but this color was just unreal and I couldn't find it in the matte ones. So I just grabbed this. So I'm gonna start with this to line my lips. This is the NYX and this is in shade Need Me and I'm gonna overline of it. Ugh, do you see how creamy that is? How easy it just slides right on and they last really well too. And then I'm just gonna fill in outer corner a little bit and then kind of smooth it out around the edges just by using like a softer hand is all this would be so pretty even with just like a gloss or like buffed in with your finger actually that's really matte which i love i'm not complaining i just didn't know that these ones are matte i thought i got this before no i'm talking about a different one these are the non-matte ones the ones okay wait i'm like confusing us both right now so these are the NYX suede ones, which if you know anything about lip colors by NYX, they have like a whole suede line. These ones are very much matte. And then this one is just the NYX lip pencil. These are a little less matte. They still are like satin, you know, they're definitely not glossy, but they're just not as matte as, like, as the suede ones. Ew, I hate when I put lip liner on and then the rest of my lip looks so crusty. Let's cover that up with this Milani. Ugh, oh, great fit, great match. Doesn't smell like anything, if you were wondering. I do love a scented lipstick. I don't love like perfumey products, but I feel like lipsticks always just have like the perfect soft scent. The product does feel a lot lighter than I was expecting. It's because a lot of times when you get a matte lipstick, they can feel really, really thick on your lips and I know a lot of people don't like that. I actually don't mind it, but when you have crusty lips and you put a very thick matte lipstick on, you're gonna be able to see it all. I'm just gonna go back in with this pencil real quick and blend out these edges. Why am I sitting like? I'm really happy with both those lipsticks. Those are, or that lip liner and lipstick. Those are so cute and such a good match. I. I'm getting in touch with my pink side again. Like I don't usually wear pink lipsticks, but I've been loving like bright, bright pink cheeks. So why not do a matching lip? Oh my God, so pretty. I'm done, you guys. I'm done. That was it. So quick, so easy. I don't know how long I took. I think I took, I think I took 30 minutes. I gave myself 30 minutes and I think that's how long I took. I could me maybe be making that up because i have actually no concept of time but i think i did it in 30 minutes and i think you can too that's it you guys that was so easy and i feel like it's just so pretty so feminine so just like sweet little girl <laughs> ew not little but like sweet lady i feel like it all kind of goes with this little like really sweater loving new products i don't think i tried any that i didn't like 
definitely recommend this. Definitely, definitely, definitely. How cute. I recommend all of it. I recommend all of it. I'll list them all down below. I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure that you subscribe to my channel so you can see more of my face. So press the little like button. Don't forget me. Leave me a comment if there's anything that you suggest I try. Oh, leave me a comment if you can try and explain how to pronounce this brand. If I said it right, just let me know that I said it right. But anyways, I have to go. I have to go. Now the clock is ticking again. I gotta go, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Love you, love you, love you. Bye. So cute. You like it? Okay, good enough. What am I can't speak. I'm stuttering. You know why? I'm shy because my dad and my brother are within like hearing distance. Isn't that weird? I like literally post this stuff and I send this to my dad when I finish. And I'm like, watch my video, but I'm shy when they're in the other room.